it's great to be able to interact with native speakers in your target language, but after all, you still need to memorize vocab and grammatical structures so you can actually speak to them. Basically, to learn a new word, you need to one, actually memorize how to write it, and two, understand how to use it properly. The easy thing I found to memorize how to write words is through flashcards. For Chinese alone, I ended up writing over 30 pages of characters, trying to memorize every single stroke so that way in the exam, I wouldn't forget any words. Because that's the worst feeling. To have an idiomatic expression or to have a word memorized, you know exactly how to use it, you have the perfect situation for it, and it's also an advanced word, and suddenly you can't use it because you forgot which radical it was, or you forgot where the accent goes, or you forgot how to spell it. That's the worst feeling, so make sure you at least know how to write every single word. As I've already said, flashcards are incredible for this. I used Quizlet for this right before my exams, but I found Anki a couple days before my final exams and it was way too late to migrate to Anki before my exams. If you have time, I strongly recommend migrating all your flashcards to Anki because it helps out with spaced repetition and it's also a much more advanced flashcard application. A big reason why I love Anki is that there is a flashcard set for every single subject and every language that you could ever imagine. For Chinese and Spanish alone, I found there's hundreds of different flashcard sets that have photos, audio, and example sentences whenever you're trying to memorize the words. So instead of having just that singular word like you would in Quizlet, instead you have four different things to work off of. That way you can memorize that much more easily and quickly. Great, so now you've memorized how to write the words, but you sort of know how to use it. And this is where practice sentences come in handy. Using past paper questions and doing practice paper ones can seem quite daunting, and although they're super useful right before your exams, you might find it easier to write example sentences first. What I mean by this is writing out sentences which include a target word that you're trying to learn. When you do this, make sure that you write your target word in a different color so that your teacher, friend or native speaker can see which word you're actually trying to learn because for them it'll just be a normal word, so make sure you write it in a different color. So this method is incredibly useful to see if there's any weird connotations a word might have or whether a word can only be used in a specific context. Because I did this for days on end, I ended up getting a little bored of this system, so at some point I tried writing sentences that included seven different target words within one sentence, and what I found is that when I gave this to my teacher, she had absolutely no clue what I was trying to say, because half the words didn't mean what I thought they meant, so it was very hard for her to mark that. So make sure that when you do this, only include one or maximum two keywords per sentence, that way your teacher or friend won't get confused.